Hi, and welcome to this Immersia TV tutorial about um, inserting graphics portals um, or other layers into your 360 footage, allowing you to position them in 3D space uh, where you want them. So I take my original equirectangular footage and I go to File Scripts and then choose Skybox Creator. And now I need to create a new Skybox Master uh, using the properties of my original file. So it's at 50 frames per second. And the duration I'm going to fill out in frames here is 2459 frames. Um, the camera settings, you can choose yourself uh, what you want to do. I'm not using 3D plugins right now. Um, I do want a 3D null. It's just general After Effects settings. You don't need to use them if you don't want to. And then I click once on Skybox Master and then generate Skybox Output, just one after the other. And basically what it will do is it will set up all the compositions and the layers. Um, this output is your final equirectangular view and the Skybox Master is the composition in which you will put your objects that will be placed in this 3D space. So we want to put objects on our original, so I drag it into the Skybox Master. Um, and on top of that is the Skybox conversion from this uh, Skybox Master. Now, usually I also want to see what I'm doing. So um, I'm going to open up the Skybox output and open up a new comp viewer. That way, when I update uh, stuff in my Skybox Master comp, uh, it updates automatically in the Skybox output um, and allows me to see what I'm doing easily in the equirectangular view. So I select my Skybox Master uh, comp and I add a new text layer. And when I start typing, you will see that it gets added on six sides, six faces of a cube, as it were. Um, that's because it's not a 3D layer yet. So I check here the cube icon turns it into a 3D layer and now it's just uh, one object in this 3D space. Now you can see it's located right in front of us. Um, using the 3D um, properties of 3D layers in After Effects, I can put it where I want. I can change, uh, move it on the X axis, I can move it on the Y axis up down, uh, and then on the Z axis, uh, how far it is away from you. Um, you can also switch to a custom view to be able to see it more easily in 3D space, to be able to visualize it easier, because it's not always easy to know where you're putting these layers. Um, so you see, you can move this around in 3D space around the camera, um, and all the distortions necessary you will apply to this layer so that it's uh, correctly integrated into your uh, equirectangular file because it's not an easy distortion to do. Um, so this does it for you. As you can see, I'm going to zoom in a bit. So you can see the exact distortion, what we're talking about. If I move it up, it gets very, very distorted. But in your virtual reality goggles, um, this would just look like um, a straight word with the right perspective and everything in this 3D space. It's just, it just looks curved because it's in this equirectangular projection. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can use any layer you want, um, video layers, uh, graphics, text, um, anything. We usually do this for um, subtitles, um, items of people, um, or uh, stuff like motion design. See you in the next tutorial where we will talk about transitions.